Hey everyone, it's Brian back with Inspiring How You See That. We're the channel that talks about all different kinds of music and entertainment, and we interview some of your favorite artists. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell, and you'll keep up with everything that we're putting out there. And we're back with a brand new artist spotlight, and today we're going to talk about a female-fronted hard rock band that hails from Wisconsin and goes by the name The Almas. Now, The Almas have been around, and they've been together since 2016, and they've released two albums. So, uh, 2017's Back to Bad and 2021's Truth Sells. Now, I actually found out about them by seeing them live at the Rock for Vets Festival this year in 2022 up in Michigan. Um, I took my parents up. It was a, a fantastic festival. There's a, a number of great bands up there. And the Almas was one that really stuck out to me as a band that I had to check out more. And one of the cool things about this Rock for Vets festivals is that you can always go and talk to the artists. So they, when they were done with their set, they would come out and they'd go to the merch table and, and meet with everybody. So that was really exciting to be able to do that. And I got the opportunity to talk to members of the Almas, and they were fantastic. Very gracious. I was really impressed with their show, and uh, it's full of energy, and, you know, before I go any further, we'll, we'll talk about the, the members of the band. So, the vocalist is Crystal Teaglin. She had a, a real presence about her. You know, she was that kind of stereotypical, hard rock, fantastic front woman, if that makes sense. Did a fantastic job. Absolutely loved it. You know, she was able to captivate you, and it, it just... The whole band did a fantastic job, but she really kind of drew your attention. And I, I love what she did on stage. Joining Crystal, we've got Frank Slipka on guitar. And guys, please forgive me if I mispronounce any of your names. We also have Josh Sukowski on guitar. We've got Chris Arndt on bass and Andrew Arid on drums. And again, they all did a fantastic job during their set. I really enjoyed it. I know my parents enjoyed it as well. One of the things I liked as I was kind of going through a lot of their music is, you know, they're not shy about talking about heavy topics. Like, for instance, suicide and mental health. Um, and then their song Reflection that really, you know, came to the forefront of that. And I, I really liked that song. And, and the video really touched on those, those very difficult subjects. And I, I appreciate that when a band puts themselves out there. So to kind of give you an idea of what they sound like, they... They're similar in style, if you guys remember Reality Suite, uh, the band that we've, we've interviewed a couple times from New Jersey, become friends with. If I could pick a band that I say is closely resembles the Almas, I would say it's Reality Suite. So if you check those guys out and you like their music, you've got to give the Almas a chance. I'm telling you, you're going to love them. And the songs that really kind of rise to the top for me, for you to guys to check out, of course, Reflection, like I mentioned, Casual Encounters, Toxic, and my favorite, which is kind of a slower, not really a ballad, but a little bit slower one, is Dead Man Rising. Really love that song. So make sure you check out the Almas, and you know, let them know that Brian and Kevin from Inspiring How You See That sent you, and we'd love to hear from you guys what you think of the Almas. Also, let us know what you think of this video. And as always, thank you guys for spending this time with us. We love you all, God bless, and rock on.